Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going up Mount Crystal Ray. It's Good Friday and this is a pilgrimage here in the area. Mount Crystal Ray is a 29-foot Catholic monument standing on top of Sierra de Crystal Ray Mountain at an elevation of 4,675 feet, serving as a shrine to El Paso, Texas and southern New Mexico. This mountain is in three states and two countries. Texas, New Mexico, and Chihuahua, Mexico. The idea of this statue was first conceived by Father Lourdes Costa in 1933 and was completed in 1940. A world-famous sculptor, Urbici Soler, was commissioned to build the statue out of limestone. He hand-selected the pieces of limestone from Austin, Texas, came back to El Paso, and worked on the statue for over 12 hours every day. Later in 1989, the crown around the base of the statue was constructed. Mount Crystal Ray is actually in three places. It is in two countries and three states. So back here on this side is Texas, and then going over here to this side, this is New Mexico. And you can see the Rio Grande River down there. And then coming all the way over to this side, you can see Mexico behind me and the border wall right there. So you can actually see where it's New Mexico on this side and then Chihuahua on that side. Thousands of locals come every year on Good Friday to complete this pilgrimage in honor of Holy Week. This holy day marks the remembrance of Christ's journey to the cross and his crucifixion. The total length of the hike is 4.4 miles up and down, which takes about two and a half hours to complete, but can often take much longer for those reciting their prayers along the way. Many of the faithful will show their dedication by making this journey carrying crosses and even going barefoot the entire way. The Stations of the Cross are laid out along the trail. The Stations of the Cross is a 14-step Catholic devotion that observes the crucifixion of Christ and focuses on specific events from his last day. A few shrines are also built for saints, including St. Anthony, St. Joseph, and a grotto to Our Lady of Fatima, and the three children. There is also a grotto for Our Lady of Guadalupe, which has a strong connection to the local population, as it is the apparition of Mary in Mexico in 1531 to St. Juan Diego. Many people will bring flowers and even light candles to pray and honor the saints. Pilgrimers will also come in groups from their local parishes, reciting their prayers and novenas at each station of the cross and singing along their journey. <laughs> This is also a chance for those that are non-religious to make the hike and get a captivating view of El Paso, Texas, Sunland Park, New Mexico, and Juarez in Chihuahua, Mexico. Due to the proximity to the border, this is a very dangerous place to come alone during any other time of the year. During Good Friday and other select feast days, including some in October, there are thousands of people and high security making this a safe time to hike. It is not advised to come at any other time of the year, especially in small groups. The diocese asks that if you do decide to go against these warnings, to alert the local sheriff's department of your plans. On Good Friday, there are several armed security officers, as well as Border Patrol agents, on foot, on ATVs, and even on horseback, all around the area. Often, you can also spot a U.S. Customs helicopter near the area. This monument and pilgrimage really brings out the Catholicism that is so fabricated into our border town culture. The journey has become a tradition for generations in many families and those with backgrounds in all walks of life. The religious devotion can be seen in many ways by those dedicated to protecting the historic shrine, 
The elderly that continue to make the climb assisted by canes and family members. The pilgrims that pay penance by making the hike barefoot and the indigenous people that wear the colors of their ancestors. This is something that makes El Paso quite unique in many ways. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Megan Ariola, born and raised in El Paso, Texas, and hoping to share our rich culture with the rest of the world. I hope you enjoyed learning more about the Sun City, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!